Hey guys, this is Sasha and welcome back to my channel. My little buddy Josiah he just woke up for his nap, but um today is June 2nd and we are starting to work on some of these projects. So we're in the backyard. Sorry if it seems a little bright. It's a bright day, but um I wanted to show you what I am working on. So so you might notice that this dresser was one of the dressers that was in the first nursery tour I posted recently on my channel of Josiah's room um, prior to, you know, even knowing I was pregnant. And so when we moved, I redesigned his nursery. I think I have videos from the first time I did his nursery and the second. And so this black has got to go. So what I'm about to do is take off these hardware pieces and sand it down and then prime it, hopefully all today. So I uh, hope you enjoy this part and I'll come back when I'm finished. So you may or may not be able to tell the dresser was originally spray painted black it was something that i did um when i was still living in my parents house when i was decorating i think i might have some pictures that i can insert of what i did with that room i completely remodeled that space it had water damage and everything else put new carpet remodeled the bathroom with my grandfather did all kind of stuff and so with this particular project I am priming it, so you saw me sand it down. <laughs> Let me move this up instead of down. You saw me uh, sand it down and then put the first layer of primer. I have like three things of primer, but I think I'm gonna need a fourth one. Hi, baby. Um, because I'm almost done with one of the cans and those cans are pretty, but like they're pretty big um and i gotta let it dry probably for about a half an hour before i put another coat of the primer on there it should pretty much look completely white right now it looks like stormy clouds <laughs> um i'll give you an up close view here in a moment but um it's a lot when you're doing a project i made sure i wore my mask and if you saw me mouthing things it was to tell josiah to um move back because he wants to do everything that I am doing and he wouldn't keep the mask on so I don't want him breathing anything and of course I made sure I'm outside so I'm definitely super cautious uh, especially being pregnant I don't want to breathe in any fumes and I made sure that the wind if you um, paid attention to the trees the wind is moving um, north in my house this way is south and that way is north so it's blowing against the direction that's why I started spraying um, the direction towards the wind um, instead of against the wind you never should do that because you end up breathing back in the fume so, so anyway I'm going to take a break it's a little bit warm rehydrate see if he's hungry and then I will do my other um, prime I might do some sanding on this other dresser that I have in here I'm not completely sure yet I will see so I will come back in a little bit sis we got rid of like the footboard in our guest bedroom. We borrowed someone's dolly, but this is the dresser. I bought it on Facebook um, sale and it is a huge dresser. It is 38 by 44 by 19. So it's super nice, three big deep drawers. And so what I'm doing is I am sanding um i want to take off some of the hardware unfortunately um that hardware does not come off so i'm not sure what i'm going to do there but i am sanding the actual body of the dresser because it does need to be repainted it's got a lot of scratches and blemishes and even though it's a gorgeous dresser um it's just too dark of a tome maybe if they were teenagers and not little boys but um it's just too dark so i already sanded the top and it pretty much just gives like a ash finish the drawers have to be wiped down and everything on the inside but i will um do that so so far so good it's got 
more scratches towards the back like over here that's another reason uh, I had primed this on Saturday and now I'm going ahead and painting it that um, sea glass satin finish similar to the other dresser that is in the nursery and uh, I've got that going hopefully you don't really pay attention to the letters over there I'm spray painting his name to add into the nursery I know these seem like really bright colors but I just love the sensory development part of it and so like a lot of neutral tones are boring because that's everywhere so that's what I've been working on So it is Monday, June 11th, and I've started grabbing um, the boxes that I sorted. Those are newborn to zero to three, and the other box is zero to three. Put out the bassinet from the closet. Back there is just other storage stuff, like clothes that I can't wear right now because I am uh, eight and a half months pregnant, but I am trying. My bottles are in that bag, so I need to go through that and start getting ready yeah i have no energy today it is literally like 4 20 in the late afternoon and i just really want to go back in the bed but nothing will get accomplished if i do that so i'm trying to start organizing and getting things together but it is such such a struggle to um stay on top of it so started washing because some things had stains so like over here has light stains and I'm probably going to wash them again because they're fading I'm using like the baby drift which was downstairs you might have just saw it I still have that to fold this is all um, newborn and some zero to three months that I used a lot with Josiah when he was little and I am sorting so I've got my bibs my hats uh, pants are right there um, some outfits that are for like colder weather, but we're in the middle of summer. Um, socks and hand mittens. And then I've got my onesies that did come out nice and clean using the drift. And then these are definitely newborn, so they'll go on the top because I know I can use them right away. And it's early in the morning, you guys. So there's my little bambino waking up fresh and probably looking for some food. And last, you might not be able to tell off tops and be like, Girl, it doesn't look like you're making any progress. I worked in here for hours. I have things starting to come to play on the changer. Those are Josiah's clothes that need to be washed this morning. Um, this is going into my next load of baby clothes. That dresser is still completely empty. Those are some clothes that have been washed that I need to put in the drawer. Um, the biggest thing was... The closet. The closet is really getting organized. I just still have to work on the top shelves and figure out what I want to put down here. This is a brand new thing of clothes um, that I switched out. So these are between three to nine months because Josiah can still wear some six to nine months tops, but I just went ahead and put them away because they're out of season. And so that box is almost full and ready to go back to storage. And I opened this other box and that's almost finished as well 
and most of these bags are empty they were full of clothes and stuff and I'm literally just sorting the last few things and then they are almost done but my big accomplishment was I started organizing my drawers so hopefully you can see it I started organizing inside the drawers and putting in their clothes and stuff so unfortunately you got to go through chaos in order to see the results and I just have stuff that I still have to sort up there but you guys I really feel like I'm making progress so that's what's going on I got to get him tended to um, I'm going to do some more work in here but I'll probably show you where I have more floor coverage cleaned up because we're going out of town sorry I'm going straight into the dark part um so anyway I need to go ahead and get him together and I will see you guys later no.